Are there any Christmas-themed wallpapers? Although why you'd want Christmas wall- Well, this is why I want Christmas walls, actually. Hello everyone, Katie here, aka Frog, and you've probably seen by now that cottage living came with cows and llamas and that they go in a big shed, but you can only get one animal per shed. Fortunately, the Sims community has come to the rescue and come up with a number of ways to make custom sheds. Now, I'm thinking, how can we make this weird? Right, so this is a video from Satie Sim, who is amazing, who you probably know of, uh, who has done a very, very in-depth tutorial. Now I'm gonna have to watch this tutorial a bit. I have watched it already, but there are some very specific instructions which actually make it work. The link to this tutorial will be down below in the description and probably up there as well. Let's just go step by step here, step by step. The layout. First, you build a two by five tiles white room. Two by five tiles. We've done it, two by five. Then you grab the hammer tool and remove the two walls from the front as well as three on each side. And you also remove the ceiling. Yeah. Then you grab the basement tool and draw a room from the walls to the edge of the deck. Thisy bit. Okay. Then use the scale option of tool to size it down to 0 0.04. Then you want to switch to live mode and shift click on the shed to open up the debug map. Okay, this is too many steps. <laughs> right, let's get a shed and we create a cow. And it's time to make this pretty. As mentioned before, I will place- Okay, so that's basically it, isn't it? That's it. I mean, we, we, I mean we're done. <laughs> Go there. Right. Hello, cow. <laughs> You already look quite gothic. Oh, maybe I could put a big one around it. Just turn around. Turn around, archway. Oh, hasn't there one with the, I mean, is it gothic? Yeah, enough. It's gothic enough, isn't it? That's pretty magnificent. This is pretty gothic. And maybe the inside. <laughs> I can use one of the stupid wallpapers. Yeah, let's go with that. It doesn't need, oh, a shiny! Did you know this one was shiny? Let's add a roof. And we're gonna put some gargoyles on this as well. <laughs> Obviously. Goth cow! Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, that really got me. Oh, yeah. We might have to scale it down. <laughs> this will make it so small. <laughs> Can we just appreciate this? <laughs> this is so dumb. Yes! <laughs> it's a bit weird. What if I do two of them? I mean, it works, doesn't it? I mean, is it, does it make any sense anyway? No. <laughs> to be honest, let's just not worry about it, whether it makes any sense, because it's ridiculous, isn't it? This is what I sometimes like to do when roofs are being a pain, is uh, I do a second one, and I have that one really flat, and then I can bring out the eaves and it doesn't look quite so ridiculous. I mean, that is a bit weird, <laughs> but let's just make it work. What the weird stuff do we get? Oh, we got the portal. <gasps> we can have a cow in a portal. <laughs> a cow that comes through a blooming portal. <laughs> oh my goodness. We're saving that idea for the fairy tale one because we're having a cow coming through a portal. That's, that's absolutely happening. <gasps> Thank you, that's what I needed. And I think I need to bring that up from below. Wee! Oh, look at it. Look at this little, my gothic cow shed. We need something to cover up that. What are we gonna put that in? Cause it's a little like feed bucket. We could have a gothic feed bucket. And let's go with this one. There's a black, there's a black swatch, of course. Uh, and then we can use tool to put it into the right place. And then I'm going to put something gothic on the side of it, because why not? That's looking pretty sweet. <laughs> oh. We have one custom animal shed. It is for the goth cow. <laughs> good progress, good progress made so far. I'm just a gothic cow. Yeah, 
I'm in my gothic cow shed. And I'm gonna rock all day long in my cow shed. <laughs> she loves it. She absolutely blamming loves it. Let's find a Christmassy archway. It's gonna be a lot of red and green, I think, in this. That's quite Christmassy. What do we got? Oh, yes. Come through, Christmas llama. Right, more of this. Let's find a few things that we think we're gonna need and get them ready. Oh, a wreath. This is Christmassy. This has snowflakes on, that's also Christmassy. We can have one of those. These thingies, these like hanging things, also those, also those. These guys, yes. And this. This, snowflakes, this garland thingy, a wreath, another wreath. There's also a Christmas tree, which I kind of want to include somewhere. You can put that. <laughs> yeah, we're going to put that on there. we we'll just put some of these in. Keep it simple. We'll have another one of these over here. We'll have one of these on each one. We'll have this boy up on the roof. It's kind of encroaching on that bit, but I don't know if I mind because it's, it, you know. What are we going for here? A ridiculous Christmas house, so obviously. Are there any white roofs? Because they'll look like snow. <laughs> are there any Christmas themed wallpapers? Although why you'd want Christmas wall, well, well, this is where I want Christmas walls actually. You know, why would you want Christmas walls? Well, for this exact reason. We'll have some presents around. Cute little chimney. It's enormous. We definitely need some of these. Yeah. This is the one. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> yeah, okay. I think we might be I think we might be there. Maybe we could have another one of one of these. A garland. <laughs> the twisty streamers. Let's have some of those at the back. Put a couple of these up. Maybe we'll have a couple more. <laughs> We're just going <laughs> as Christmassy as possible. <laughs> Oh, and we need something to cover this up. Um, but it needs to be something that we can get into to click. <laughs> right, we'll have one of those. We're gonna have to bring that down from the bottom. A snowman and nutcrackers. I don't know where the snowman, maybe I can put the snowman on top. Just sticking out. In fact, I might. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> Little snowman sticking out of the roof. He's like, hello. In fact, if I put the tree behind there, where I was getting annoyed with the shed, It'll cover the shed up for me, and that'd be beautiful. There'll just be a little Christmas tree there and cover up that bit of that shed. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> the guards of Christmas Llama. The shadow is weird, but they won't be, don't worry. That is a stunning. <gasps> oh my god, I didn't realise this one had so many lights on it already. <laughs> we put it to night time. And it looks beautiful. Christmas Llama, having an amazing time. There we go. Christmas llama. The shed is complete. Oh, no, we need to do the last thing. Da, 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 da. Yay, and that got rid of all the ugly shadows on things. And now the Christmas llama is done. This is gonna be, oh, Christmas shed. Oh, Christmas shed. <laughs> Can I fit, oh, Christmas shed, oh, Christmas shed? It's not gonna let me. Oh, Christmas <laughs> shed, it does. Oh, Christmas shed, oh, Christmas shed, you are a lovely Christmas shed. Should we call her Noel as a woman? Because then it's Noel the llama. She is in the Christmas shed. Oh, Christmas shed, oh, Christmas shed, the status is clean, the feed level is full, and currently occupied by an animal. The Doctor's Fez. Now, I love this because one of the Doctor Who's had a Fez, but also Doctor Blue always a Fez. We're gonna do a TARDIS. I mean, I know, obviously, it's a police call box, but let's just, let's try and be accurate here. So let's let's decorate this as a, a, like a TARDIS. So we need it to be blue, obviously. It's just, I just don't feel like it's gonna be very TARDIS-y. <laughs> I'm just gonna put that out there now. We can give it a go. We need to put the light on top. 
it's terrible, but whatever. I mean, the combo, there's so much going on on here. This is just ridiculous now, but it's just still the blue. This is nothing is nothing is the same blue. It's just it won't. It, <laughs> I did not expect matching swatches, but at the same time, this looks terrible. Let's see if there's a tall blue door. I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, nope, there isn't. OK, a medium height blue door. This. Oh. <gasps> uh, oh. Oh. I'm going to have one of them on there. OK, it doesn't say anything on it yet. OK, it, it, it could be something. It's in Simlish. It's fine. Oh, that'll do. Well, I will take that. You know what I need? Paneling. This is what I need. I need that in blue. There, there isn't one. Maybe wood. Oh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go with that. Uh, let's put some columns on the corners. I, I think that'll, yeah. That's gonna be the finishing touch, I think. Open doors show that it's not really bigger on the inside. <laughs> well, what do you want me to do? I'll tell you what I'll blummin' do. Are you satisfied now? There you go! Now you can't see in it! Oh, but two! I can have a, one of these coming out the top. Okay, <laughs> we have Dr. Llama. I can't make the noise. Maybe I'll add it on in post. This is a blue bucket. There we go. A jelly baby jar for llama who is there? There is blue. Some blue jelly babies for llama who. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. So yeah, Doctor Who um, becomes many different men, then a woman, then a llama. Fez maybe? There's no fez for the llama. There's only fez for chickens. Llama who? Llama who? Do -do -do. Lama who goes around in space and time, hence the name Tardis. Lama who. I had doubts, but this <laughs> turned out brilliantly. Excuse me, poorly decorated, Thomas. <laughs> I've worked so hard. Right, let's just get out some fairy tale esque things. Yes, you. You, my friend. This little bunny, beautiful. The little bunny can sit on top of the toadstool, maybe. Oh, we're having some of that. Yeah. Oh, hey. Look at that. We need a roof. Maybe I could do a round roof to look like a fairy tale tower. And I will use the purple, the beautiful purple one. Yes, always. I'm going to put the fairy on top. Because I think it's cute. Cover up my little barn. There's a little bunny. He covers up the edge. That's fine. Now we need the mushrooms from Debug. Mushrooms from Debug. Also, we can have some crystals. Ooh, magical crystals. Magical crystals. And we're going to just put these all over the dang place. Oh, yeah, more mushrooms. Debug mushrooms. There's the alien mushrooms. We're going to put a few of those. Down. More mushrooms, individual mushrooms. Put the individual mushrooms around. Little row of mushrooms. Very cute indeed. Beautiful. There we go. There's the fairy tale one. It is a psychedelic cow now. It's ready to be psychedelic. <laughs> I feel like we could make this work as psychedelic. Oh, there's these curtains as well. I could do these curtains. These curtains are insane. Oh, I like that. I'm going to use this in a build again when I don't have to necessarily bring it up from the thing. But just putting it in the middle of that, of that archway, I like that. I could even change the colour if I'm not too happy with it. Oh, the purple to pink. <gasps> there's that thing with the waterfall that changes colour. Okay, what was the thing with the waterfall that changed colour? We could go with that on the outside, I guess. That would be quite cute. Do I like it? I don't know. It's happening. It's going in. We need some windows. It is! Mm. 
But if you scale it down, the water and the thingy goes away, but apparently the color stays. Change color. Rainbow. I mean, I don't really mind the, the water, but I do need to make it smaller so that it doesn't do that. Okay. Uh, it needs a little roof. What can we do a psychedelic roof? What do I want on the top? The crazy ones, yeah. Oh my goodness, oh yeah. I feel like we should have the fountain on every side. Oh, the psychedelic cow shed needs the flowery grass, I think. <laughs> it doesn't look the same color as the other grass, but let's not worry about it. Right, change color, rainbow. They don't think they're all synced up, which is a bit bizarre. They're all going different, there's one on here as well. And they're all going in different colors. And now we get rid of the fountains, which are insane. Let's do a weird window at the back. I don't know what. Maybe we could have the um, the butterfly. That's quite psychedelic, I think. Oh, that's pretty cool, that being at the back there. And we've got the, the curtains. Okay, we need an, a psychedelic bucket to cover up this. Oh, you know what we need again? We need mushrooms. Oh, the bowl. Because it looks a bit like a singing bowl, you know? We could use the bowl. It's not, I mean, it doesn't cover up very well, does it? <laughs> you can really see it. Does this come in any colors where the roof is? Oh, yes! Okay, let's do that. It's a singing bowl. <laughs> it's not as subtle as the other ones, but it's there. Maybe there should be some of this. I don't know what it is, but it's psychedelic. Maybe we could have some of these. They're pretty psychedelic. Maybe this, this cactus as well gives me psychedelic vibes. I don't know why. More mushrooms I feel are necessary. These are, these are definitely that kind of mushroom, I think. You know, that kind of mushroom. Oh, and some tufty grass. Let's have some, some of this tufty grass just to try and hide the fact that the, the floor looks a totally different color. More mushrooms. Uh, peyote. Is that what I mean? Peyote. Oh! Small spineless cactus with psychoactive- <gasps> What? I was so right! It does look like peyote! Okay, I'm so impressed with myself. Yeah, it took- Yes! I was thinking just because it was like a, like a twisty flower. But no, it literally is a, a, a psychoactive elements in the cactus. Can we have some like weird stuff like this? Like that's pretty, like you'd be probably feeling a bit weird if you're seeing this kind of tree around. Where are the floating flowers? The flowers that just float. There's some of these that are like blooming. <laughs> oh, this is looking pretty cool. I'm really happy with this. <laughs> and the uh, different doorways change color as well. And it is functional, well it should be functional. Alien flower, there we go. That's it. They're literally floating. You can see the full effect of the multicolored um, wall things, which are all going at different times. I don't know if they'll sync up together when I come out and back in again, or if we'll never be able to set them again. And they are technically going off the side, but don't worry, it's psychedelic. <laughs> so there we go. Five custom cow sheds. A gothic shed, not very imaginative on the name for the first one. And this is a uh, gothic cow who is um, sporting some jewelry. That's jewelry. Um, this is the Christmas Llama Shed, which we called <laughs> Oh Christmas Shed, Oh Christmas Shed And this is Noel the Llama um, This is uh, Dr. Llama, who is dirty and unhappy right now, unfortunate um, In the uh, Bandis, big fan of that Wasn't, I was not sure it was going to come off, but it did And then this is Once Upon a Cow Shed, adorable. And this is Dairy Tail. <laughs> and then this is Cy Cowdelia, who lives <laughs> in Magic Mushrooms. <laughs> there we go. So I'm very proud of my work here. Hope you have enjoyed watching this process. I'm gonna try and put them on the gallery, but I don't quite know how. I'll try and put like a room around them, but anything that comes up from the basement, I don't know. Um, I will try. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching this experience. A huge thanks to Sadie Sim who made such a great tutorial. The link is down below. And of course, thanks to Twisted Mexi for making the tool mod, without which this would not be possible. And I filmed this live on Twitch. So thank you to everyone in chat who helped with these mad ideas. And if you'd like to catch my streams, my Twitch link is down below. And let me know in the comments what crazy animal sheds you would have made. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already.